We'll see you tomorrow. Well, there's a lot of scary things about Halloween, but this year there's one that's not your typical scare. Inflated candy prices. Haven Hughes joining us now in the studio with more on this. And inflation certainly is no trick and it's no treat, but we're going to have to deal with it when it comes to the candy. Yeah, Bob, a 13% increase in candy prices has our Kansans' wallets screaming. Like you said, this is a trick that's not for their treat, but inflation, our country is experiencing it, and it is causing big problems. The price of candy may have many Arkansans thinking they are also losing a leg this Halloween thanks to inflation. In the latest data that the Bureau of Labor Statistics has put out, they reported that candy prices are up 13% in the past year. Arkansans are concerned and some have chosen to not buy candy this year. I think I'm just going to leave it off with the rest of the people because the rest of the people that are out there who are in their houses ready for trick-or-treaters. Other Arkansans notice the change, but are having to buy it anyways due to concerns some kids might be left out. It's important to me because, for one, my residents, um, it's a good way to celebrate um, Halloween with candy for the kids and also my nieces and nephews. They mean the words to me, so I want to make sure that they have candy for Halloween. Making sure candy is bought is difficult at this time. Candy is one of the, actually the biggest increases we've seen the past year. With the big day coming, the shelves are full, waiting for the brave souls to spend the money are those who just love candy. I know you are dying for some candy. No matter the price. I pretty much love all candies. That's the reason I have a lot of cavities. So, yeah, I just eat it all. <laughs> Well, Freddie, Michael, or Jason have nothing on these prices, but would Halloween be Halloween without the candy? Us here at KRK will let you decide. Reporting live in studio, I'm Haven Hughes. Back to you.